Okay, so today we're going to be testing out the Mind and Body Erosion category team that is led by the new tech Janemba that has dropped on JP Dokum Battle. Now, there's a lot of controversy for this card, but I wanted to try this card for myself whether I like him or not. Now, I will say, for the first 12 hours for this card to be released, this is one of the first times I've ever experienced trouble finding the brand new TUR card in the friend systems. So if that's saying something, then it must be a bad card, right? But we'll judge after we use the team, of course. Um, so I found a two dupe one. It's not 100%, but it should be good enough. Uh, we're going to go through the card details really quickly. I'm sure you guys know it by now if you follow JP Dokum. But uh, he is a mind and body erosion category leader for 170%. And he's also an extreme class leader for 130%, which I think is very valuable. He raises defense for one turn and causes immense damage to the enemy. Uh, for his passive skill, he gets attack and defense plus 120%. He's able to guard against all attacks. And if you grab four or more key spheres, you're able to increase extreme class allies' key plus two and 30% attack and defense. And he's able to reduce damage received by 30% with two or more rainbow key spheres obtained. So this friend one that I have here is 10 additional 17 critical. And he's got some additional skill orbs in here. Uh, his link skills are the Innocence More Than Meets the Eye, Metamorphosis, Mag Master of Magic, Nightmare, Big Bad Bosses, and Fierce Battle. Not too bad of a link set. There seems to be some key issues there, though, from what I see. And then categories are Movie Bosses, Transformation Boost, and Mind and Body Erosion. So, uh, I went with a full Mind and Body Erosion team. Now, because he is an Extreme Class Leader as well, you can get away with running Easy AL or Freezer. Uh, as the leader and then just running whatever units you want and mind and body erosion category if you really wanted to make this team optimal but i wanted to just strictly restrict myself to this category just to have a feel of uh how good this category is uh so for the leader i have metal cooler who is a 70 percent extreme leader we have goku black uh we have marja vegeta we have yamu and spofovich and then we have physical meta cooler and str meta cooler so we're just going to go up against the super warriors infinite history event uh, and see how far this team can get. It's not the greatest team, I'm going to be completely honest. I mean, if I could get away with not running, you know, two random metal coolers in there, uh, this team would be an alright. If, uh, if you know, I had LR Freezer and then some random other extreme unit. But because I'm forced to run the uh, metal coolers, because the category is not that thorough, as in there's not many... Um, you know, cards to pick from for free to play. The team building aspect of it is very limited. And because it's not a true Wicked Bloodlines category team, the f metal coolers, the individual ones, don't get their full buff. Right now, there's three, and I think they get 15% attack and defense. So they're only boosted 45% attack and defense, which is not that great at all. So at most, I'm probably going to be putting them uh, in the floater spot just to evade for getting too much hits in. Uh, and then uh, I might be looking at some key issues depending on uh, the rotations. I really don't know what to use as a rotation. It's like, I think the best way is having the Metal Cooler, LL Metal Cooler and Janemba together. Just because they have uh, Big Bad Bosses and Nightmare, I think. And I don't think Goku Black links all too well. He might just have Nightmare. So at least, you know, when you get the 4 key, you can get the Super Attack instantly. Um, but because we don't grab two rainbow orbs, it's, uh, not the best here. I like how it updates immediately. I actually didn't recognize that. Um, but I'm going to put Yamu and Spofovich here. And hopefully, Janemba doesn't kill all Yamu and Spofovich. And then we can kill with Goku Black. Maybe I should just put Goku Black in the middle. I do like the super attack, though. Super attack is a very, very nice. Don't kill, don't kill... Oh, I should have just put Goku Black at the middle slot. Dang. That's fine, though. We can get him next time. Get him next time. So, do we want to do that? I think we might want to just do that. Just link up Metal Cooler and Janemba together. They're just going to have uh, the links, at least some sort of links together. I'm like wrapping my head around it. It's just not a good idea in the end. Still, regardless, just because Metal Cooler Army requires so much key anyway, uh, we need a transform, and I can see the problem when it comes to this card. You just need a lot of support to really run him, and it's not really worth it because he's not. In, in his, like, fat form, in his original form, it's just... The damage output's not there. 
because he only gets 120% attack and defense boost, which, I mean, and, and then you get the support of 30%, which is still good. It's just not crazy good. All right, so at least we can super attack here. Yeah, it's just not linking up with our team as was well I wanted it to. Uh, Margin Vegeta might not be a bad pick to put in the main rotation. Uh, he's pretty decent, and he's 100% for me. I think Edla Freezer would be a great choice to link up at least somewhat with Janemba. Uh, that way you get the key bonus if you put him up first, and then you get Big Bad Bosses and Nightmare. So that's there. And I, 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 do they have Metamorphosis? Yeah, and Metamorphosis for the 5% uh, HP, which is pretty nice. Uh, but yeah. Goku Black. Hope you deal with this. Oh yeah, Goku Black and Margin Vegeta maybe might be a good rotation. We'll see. A lot of key management. Uh, so in order to transform him... You do need to take five hits, uh, five or more hits, in order to awaken his transformation. We haven't gotten there yet because I haven't really put him in a spot where he can take hits. Uh, but when he does transform, he upgrades into, you know, the typical Super Janemba that we all know of. Uh, his Super Attack Mechanic now raises attack and defense for one turn instead of just the defense. Uh, then his attack and defense in his passive skill updates to 180%. And then he can change random uh, key spheres to rainbow types or a different type of color. So he's a two. He can change into two different like things. Oh, that was bad. Uh, and then he gets an additional forty percent attack boost if you get if you grab three or more type key spheres obtained. Uh, I don't know if that counts rainbows, but it says type key spheres. And then he has a high chance of evading enemies' attack with a rainbow key sphere obtained. So. You'd want to always get him a Rainbow Key Sphere, if possible. It should be very easy, since he can change uh, type Key Spheres into Rainbow. So it shouldn't be too hard to do. But, um, yeah, he loses the damage reduction, which sucks. Uh, I wish they kept the damage reduction. Damage reduction is really nice in the end. Uh, and then the support would have been really good, but... Uh, they they tend to do this all the time. Yeah, you know, cooler. They get rid of his support, but you know, cooler's strong in his own way. We'll see how the transformation uh, deals with it. And yeah, and then he just has to. You just pray for the dodges, and we we know it. This channel does not like dodges around here. Now I am very hopeful that this card is still very good, regardless, because I'm looking for. A good friend leader to bring for my extreme tech super battle road run for a full free to play team. And this has a you know potential because you got the damage reduction, got the support. Uh, you know, extreme tech is not a bad team in terms of free to play units. And this just because of the 130% uh leader skill, it might be a good shout. Unfortunately, no uh kill for Goku Black there. Might be hard for the rest of the game. Doka mode with the Goku Black. So we've used one item so far. That's just because we took a uh, fat super attack with uh, Yamu and Spofovich. At least we got some sort of decent HP. 328k. And right now it doesn't look like we're struggling too much. Uh, I'm probably going to transform once we hit Vegeta if possible. I don't remember how many times we've gotten hit so far. It's probably very minimal amounts. Uh, they are not hitting that hard. That was a only 400,000. Oh, big super. Luckily, Yamu Spopo can heal us up just a tad bit. 47k. Full HP back, kind of. All right, let's take some hits here. Why not? Ooh, if we're lucky, we might be able to finish off with Goku Black next turn. Definitely no way we kill Piccolo here, which is sad to say. Uh, 1.2 mil attack stat, which is not too bad. This is uh, with his full passive as well. But yeah, 600,000. Not looking good. 
All right, Goku Black. Let's go. So he's got two thirds of his passive done. Of course, Piccolo wants to super attack us. Even Goku Black has more damage output than Janemba. Even though he's easy, it doesn't. It, okay, it's a bad comparison, but. Can we transform with Janemba? We can. All right, let's do it. I don't think we have much screen time with him much uh, left. Every time I watch this now, I always think of Doka Memes uh, video where he's like, uh, Janemba's active skill, but the true voice actor. So good. Such a great video. Okay, so uh, he does get shocking speed. So he does get a two key link now. And, you know, with, uh, I think with um, Kool-Aid, he has shocking speed as well, which is good. Or at least Fear of Faith, which is also another key link. So he gets some key links in there. Which is good, uh, and it only replaces some of the useless links that we have on Janemba anyway, like Master of Magic more than meets the eye. So the replacement links uh, when you transform is pretty good. Uh, this is enough to get his full passive. So we have a high chance of evading enemies attack, and we also get the 40% extra attack bonus. Uh, with his attack and defense, we have 131,000 defense, 357,000 attack stat. Which is not too bad. I don't find that too disappointing yet. Um, plus with the Dodgers, I mean, that's got to be good, right? Except when you verse MUI Goku, that, that is the natural enemy of this guy. Two mil attacks, that... Not too bad. Not too bad. Nothing too crazy, I think. I've got some standards for pay-to-play units now. <laughs> Alright, how much did you take a super attack? 14k? Pretty good. And his OST is kind of banging, you know? I mean, they never miss on the OSTs anyway. You should never expect a Doken OST to be bad. Should be good in its own right. Too bad it only lasts for one turn. All right, we're going to Whis here. And then 18 key. How's Goku Black doing? 89,000 defense. I haven't used him for quite some time where we actually take out enemies like this and build up his attack and defense. Let me know in the comment section as well. Who do you prefer more? Do you prefer Janemba or do you prefer Pycon? I'm a Pycon guy. I like Pycon's banner. And I like Pycon as a card more than Janemba. That's m just my opinion. I haven't even tried out Pycon as I'm recording this. So <laughs> maybe I'm just biased. Who knows? Uh, but I can definitely tell you his team's a bit better. And uh, if you haven't already, while you're down there... Check that you guys are subscribed. Make sure you click on the red button. Uh, people just tend to forget, so I'm just here to remind you. And if you're an MVP, you would also click on the bell icon so that you will be notified when I upload videos. I upload every day, so, you know, try not to miss all those videos, you know? Potential entertainment. <laughs> I, don't think, I don't think we grabbed a rainbow key sphere, unfortunately. So we didn't get the dodge. This is the longest it's been since I actually got to Trunks. Like, we get to Trunks pretty fast, usually, from my experience. All right, should I risk it here? Yeah, we risk it here. Run it. 1.2 mil. Ooh. Goku Black don't disappoint. Vegeta, I hope you're a good tank. <laughs> I don't even know if your defense is matched yet. Surely has to be. Ah, uh, yeah, we're not dead. We're going to heal up with Spovovich and Yamu. We're going to do the sucky sucky. Right on Trunks' fat thighs. And even if we took a super attack, we'd have been fine there. Um, However, I think we just have to... Ways here. As much as I didn't want to do that. Yeah, I, I don't think we're getting pretty far in this. Super Saiyan Goku Max, maybe. If you haven't summoned already, I don't know when I'm going to upload this, but try to save your stones, guys. I think every YouTuber has told you this. Every Dogen YouTuber has told you this, but try to save your stones. I mean, 60 anniversary is coming real, real soon. Real fast. 
And you know, every single anniversary they release something broken. Oh, big damage. And that's with a Whis activated. Um, but we're pretty good here. Oh, maybe I should have done um, Marjorie Vegeta first so we could potentially knock out. Or Goku Black gets a crit and then additional super attack. Oh! <laughs> Come on, crit, crit, crit. It's not over yet. He has to crit. No! My one potential to get his full passive going. I think you only need three kills in order to get his full potential. Alright, so we're probably going to just throw in Yamus Bobovich for the time being. Uh, just because, you know, they have type advantage. It's going to be more valuable. Worth 70,000. They're going to do some big damage as well. Hopefully. What if we win this? What if we magically win this? Oh, I dodged the dodger, huh? Dodge the dodger. I see, Gok. I see. Damn, that sucks. We did so little damage. All right, I got an Android 8 here. Oh, we are dead if we take a super. All that red orb, though. Uh, can we get a... Can we set up for a darker mode? Imagine. Can we? I think we can make it. If the orb changing is right. All I've known is Goku Black is still very good. From the showcase. Oh, now I actually don't know if we're going to hit it. we got to grab all of these. There's no blue orbs. That's what sucks. 305, 305. I don't think we make this. And we got no items left, so we got to run this. Raw Dogger Mode! Ooh, let's go! Let's go! So there's a guarantee hit. And we kind of got a support here with uh, STR Cooler, but no Int Cooler. Alright, let's finalize this video with a Doku Mode with Janemba. It's not his highest attack stat we've seen. It's only 1.7 mil. But we'll have to take it. Come on, big dammy. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. Dang, and he dodged the actual strong unit. <laughs> the secret strong unit. Jesus. Yep, GG's. Well, hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video. Let me know again in the comment section. What do you think about the Janemba? If you haven't already, make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. If you haven't already, remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Daily uploads here on the JFANA channel. Check out all my social medias down in the description. I'd really appreciate that. Uh, road to 60,000 subscribers. Let's try to hit like 500 likes on this video. I'd really appreciate that. But anyway, I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Till then, stay healthy, stay safe, stay fizzy. Peace out.